okay, in the last movie we uh, we got the image to save uh, and and come back the second time when we checked and we refreshed our window, our image that we loaded uh, came back into the um, movie clip, but we lost our positioning and our scaling. So I went back in. It was an easy fix. Basically, there was one more thing I needed to do, and that is down here at the load image function, right? The load image function, we changed it so that we're going to pass it these different parameters. We're passing it image name, but also X position, Y position, and scale from our array of shared object, our shared object um, in the array that holds all the data that we've saved to our local computer. But then all we did was we did this top line, we loaded the movie with the image name, right? But we didn't take advantage of the X position, Y position, and scale information. So then afterwards, I added these lines right here, avatar container dot avatar head outer underscore X equals X position, which is our saved X position, which is our saved Y position that we're passing it, right, uh, from our array. And our scale, which we're passing it. So we set the X scale, right? And then on our stats box, notice the stats dot text, our little message box that way at the bottom was only showing the image name. So now we say image name plus and then a space, double quotation mark with a space in between, and then it'll show me the X position, the Y position, and the scale. And that should do it. So um, once again, uh, function load image, we're passing it these different things, and these things are being passed all over the place by the saved avatar data coordinates the different positions that uh, that are being saved to the local computer, right? And let's give it a try, right? So we load image. If avatar exists, we load the image, and then we pass it. We call well, we call the load image function and pass it all these coordinates that we've saved from our array. And then when the load image, and then the load image function down here at the bottom. Uh, represents that, you know, it, it has that, it's going to take advantage of those parameters that we've passed it by doing something with them right here, making it move the container. So now I hit control enter on my keyboard to output a movie and go back to Firefox, refresh the window, right? And boom, there it is. The save data worked and the image was loaded and the X position and the Y position were actually applied to the movie clip, right? And so that's pretty cool. And we could try it again. We hit browse and we'll pick another image. Let's say, how about that femur, right? We'll do the femur. The femur's uploaded to our folder, right? And sometimes you have to click twice to activate the flash movie window. It's uploaded. I can position it, scale it, right? scale, make it smaller. I'm trying to see this femur here. It's just a bone, so I move it around here. Probably not the best image to play with, but there's a piece of it anyway. Right there was in the rock. So there it is. There's that piece, right? Great. Uploaded it. The coordinates down here at the bottom show us its name, femur1.jpg, its X position, Y position, and scale. When we first loaded it, it was X0, Y0, and scale was 100. But now we've changed that here. So when I refresh, it should go back in the same place, and we should get the updated coordinates here. So I refresh the window as if I was coming back the next day opened up the movie and sure enough femur1.jpg negative 55 for x position negative 35 for y position 25 for scale and the image loads in the exact same place so you could use this kind of um, this kind of uh, capabilities in flash to have persistent data in your flash games or in your flash movies if you wanted you know uh, each person to access their image and their avatar or their their photo that they uploaded for their chat room or for their, you know, to personalize your game or personalize your Flash website, or personalize your application. This would be a good way to do it, or it's one way to do it.